So what's up, good people? Welcome back to Stock Up with Larry Jones. Hey, I got a new company that I'm going to talk about, and I dare you to stay until the end of this because I'm actually a little excited about this company. Two things I want to tell you about this company right from the start. Number one, this is a sponsored video. All right. Just hold on a minute. Number two, it is a penny stock. But I'm going to share this information with you guys, but I want you to actually give this guys a look over. For those of you that's been rolling with me for a while, you know, I have passed up many, 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 many sponsorships, right? Because I wanted to find something that I thought was going to make you money. I believe that I found it here with this company. I really do. I really do like this company. And uh, for those of you that know what I do with charities and with this stream um, that's been rolling with me, you guys gave me the green light. And uh, I, I want to appreciate you guys for doing that because you know what I do up with, with charities on that. And we're going to continue and we're going to start sh sharing some of that, uh, the charitable stuff with you guys also, too. All right. So I want you guys to participate. All right. For those of you that's new to the page, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and make sure that notification bell is checked and hit all. All right. Also two good people. If somebody leaves a phone number, talks about a WhatsApp or talks about Bitcoin, it is not me. Remember my name should be grayed out. Right. So there's a lot of spammers going on and uh, I don't want you guys to get burned. Okay. All right. So the name of this company is called Nexi. All right. What I want to tell you about Nexi is they make coffee, but they are not coffee makers. They are product innovators, right? That's what I want to tell you about this company. And that's why, um, um, number one, coffee speaks to me because I drink coffee every day. Matter of fact, if I don't have coffee in the morning, I got a headache. All right. And Mrs. Jones ain't happy when I don't have coffee. All right. So I want to tell you that they make plant based K cups and we're going to get into that. It's really it's really cool what they're doing. Uh, they're a penny stock, just like Nano Dimension was. Remember, Nano Dimension in NDM was a penny stock. Now look at it. Eleven fifty. I mean, it'll be fifteen dollars pretty soon. For those of you that got in early, man, we made a killing. Remember? Um, you remember I shouted out PLG to you guys when it was 229 and, and I sold it at a hundred percent and literally three weeks later, I made a hundred percent on that stock. And, uh, so I got another portfolio that was penny stock and I took my $1,200 stimulus check of 2020 and my wife's $1,200 stimulus check and it's $8,300 in there right now, uh, with just penny stock and I haven't spent any time with it doing anything else with it. But I, it was, I ramped that up all in penny stock. So we all know that penny stock are high risk, but the flip side of that is their high reward. So I have just been blessed in really picking good penny stock. And then you guys remember, I had another penny stock that went up 381%, right? And so I've only talked about, talked about three penny stock and they were all winners, okay? Because I do deep dives. And so let's do a deep dive here. We're just going to go over some of the technical stuff. I believe you guys need to know about this company. Okay. And then at the end, we're going to go over the negatives and the positives because I want to be fair. Right. So let's look here. Nexi announced plant expansion, doubling its operating footprint. That's a good thing. Uh, Nexi Innovated Innovations awarded a million dollars from the government of Canada. The competitors, the singles, the single use uh, capsule industry is expected to reach an annual consumption of 50 plus billion units last year in 2020. This is their state of the art facilities. This is before they doubled their size. 50% of all coffee consumed is through these single serve coffee pods. 50%. That's a lot of coffee, right? Global coffee market was valued at 102 billion in 2019 and is expected to reach revenues worth USD 
155.64 billion by 2026. All right. U.S. at-home coffee market is set to grow by 4.9 percent uh, in 2020, reaching 15.6 billion. This is what I really want you guys to look at. And this excites me right here. 44 percent of the U.S. coffee demands come from millennials. Yep. Millennials. I talked to the CEO he didn't duck any questions. I asked the hard questions. But what I really like about this company is, is they're innovators. It's not just about coffee. Like, for instance, he was telling me that the cups, most of their competitors, they use a glue to glue the top down. Right. So when the water goes through, it gets so hot, it releases the top. And now you got grounds, number one. And then you got the plastic going into your coffee and it that don't taste good. But they have. Uh, patented technology where they don't even have to use um, uh, glue or adhesives. That's one of the things that excite me. The other thing is they manufacture the cup 3D. You know, they do the 3D printing for the K cups. And what other company did we invest in that do it, that does 3D printing? Nano Dimensions, remember? Just so happens that it was a what? A penny stock. Right. And so, yeah, there's risk in penny stock, but there's great growth in penny stock. Penny stock are how you how you quickly, you know, double, triple, quadruple your money, because you if you get it at the right time, it just explodes. That's one of the things I really like about this company. All right. So let's go over negatives and positives of this company. Right. So I got three negatives. The first one is it's a penny stock, right? Great risk with penny stock. But the flip side of that is great reward if you get it right. And we did so far, every penny stock that I've brought on this channel, we've hit a home run, no less than 100%. One of them was over 381%, right? Uh, they charged me what I saw was an estimated foreign settlement fee. So you got to look and see what that is. And just before you hit, um, just before you hit go, it'll tell you what it is. Mine's was 50 bucks, right? Um, I plan on buying more. I will tell you that I'm buying. I don't believe in not having skin in the game. I'm buying not just to prove to you guys. I'm buying because I believe that there's plenty of room for growth in here. So I'm going to dollar cost average in. I'm going to start you know, with probably like a thousand shares because it's so cheap. And then what I'm going to do is dollar cost average in and not just dollar cost average down when it dips. That's easy. But what I'm going to do is dollar cost average up. Every time I think it's about to hit a new breakout, I'm going to buy more until I think I've had enough money in and I'm going to just let it ride. All right, let's go to the third one. Uh, it's a new company and they just IPO. Right. So those are my three negatives about the company. All right. Let's go to the positives about the company. I'm going to start off where I left off. It's a new company and it just IPO. And so if we get in on the ground floor and this thing explodes, then we all good. You know, the early ones in, that's the thing about penny stock. The first in, if it's an emerging market and it's something good, a, a product like this, and you see a lot of potential, then you make all of the money, right? So that was number one. Number two, there's plenty of room to grow in this space. That was just proven to us by the numbers. And I just know coffee. It's never going away. It's never going when, 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 and you know, when we say in church, when Jesus come back, somebody going to be drinking some coffee. All right. And loose and listening to earth, wind and fire and Luther. But anyway, um, number three, uh, they're not just limited to coffee because they're product innovators. Think about this. For those of you that watch Shark Tank, like I do religiously, Mr. Wonderful, he's always trying to do what? Licensing deals. Just think about all of the Keurigs out there and the espresso machines out there. Um, I believe that there's a lot of things coming in the future that's going to make this company e grow even more. So what I don't invest in is a company that they just give you everything up front and then there's no room for growth. 
but I see a lot of room for growth and because of the 3D technology, uh, let alone the coffee. All right. I'm going to just keep it going. Um, uh, coffee is on the incline uh, and coffee. Uh, there's a couple of things that I found out in 2008 when I first started investing in coffee and I was Googling what was recession proof. One was uh, barbershops actually was, was going up then because people were getting a haircut. There was a cheap thing. They would want to look nice. Lipstick, the sale of lipstick went up and the sale of coffee went up. So this is actually coffee is recession proof because if you look, the consumption of liquor and coffee actually went up in 2020 uh, because people are staying home. And you're going to drink something, water, coffee, or liquor from you for you slushes. <laughs> All right, number five, I see this stock easily doubling and even tripling. I, I really do. So now, I am going to say this. You know, I have to say, I'm not your financial advisor. You should do your own research and consult with your financial advisor, to which I am not. I am not telling you guys to buy this stock, right? I am free to say that. That's what I like about the CEO. I am free to tell you, I'm not telling you guys to buy this stock. What I am telling you guys is, is that I like this stock and I'm buying, okay? And so what I do when I'm looking at a company like this is I look at the upside and the downside. I see, I see very little risk. I see the downside of maybe 20% and I see the upside of 80%. And so I'm getting in and I'm getting in early so I can make big money. You know, the earlier you get in, the bigger the money you make. So now for those of you that saying I'm taking all my money and putting it in here, you don't do that with any stock and with any company. You never do that. Remember, you want to diversify your portfolio. But I have a good feeling about this company. Um, after you do the research, just just after you do the research, go to Yahoo Finance. You can look at this. You can look at the go to their page. Um, um, they do have a commercial out there. They need they need Uncle Larry to go go out there and shoot, shoot, shoot them a video. Uh, the video was a little on, on the corny side. I'm just keeping it real, fam. But the co the company and the growth, I really like. I like this company. I love coffee and not just because I love coffee. I like what they're doing. They're not just a coffee company. They're a technology company and a product company. And I see a lot of growth in this, in this company. So after you do the research, after you look at this, please come back and leave me a comment and tell me what you think about the company. All right. Don't just say, Oh, it's a penny stock. No, tell me what you truly think about the company. All right. But I know as for me, I'm getting in. And I believe in putting your money where your mouth is. All right. Live, love, laugh, and learn. We'll see you next time. Peace.